What's going on guys? Uh, it is Friday night. I'm actually taking off to Oregon in the morning. Uh, me and Abby are flying up like 10 a.m. and I'm doing my submission underground grappling match against Jeff Glover on Sunday. So we fly up tomorrow. I gotta do some media and stuff. Um, get all ready situated. <laughs> Tonight I gotta get all packed and uh, get all ready to go and we're out first thing in the morning. Alright, we got all our stuff packed up. Uber's almost here. Winthrop, we're gonna miss you, buddy. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here, headed to the airport. Ninety percent of the time that happens, and Abby always gets a freaking laugh out of it. I don't even get a drink or anything after that. Just get all felt up for nothing. It's not cool. I love getting on prop planes. Headed to the Portland Marriott City Center. And that's gonna be home for the next couple days. So tonight we got weigh ins uh, at 9 o'clock. So uh, it's only like noon right now. We're gonna go check in, probably grab some food. I absolutely love not having to cut a ton of weight before I compete. This is cool. I can eat some food, go weigh in, and uh, relax for tonight. And then tomorrow we we get after it. It's a grappling match. I think they start at 3. We got to report at noon. So, uh, almost game time. Let's see if we can find this driver. There it is. Oh. It's cold. What's that look like out here? City life. City <laughs> Hashtag city life. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go find some food. <laughs> Alright, we're walking around the big city of Portland. <laughs> we're hungry, so we're gonna go try to find some food. Have no idea where we are, but was recommended down this way. There's some good places to eat, so we're gonna go see what we can find. Food truck court, so there's all kinds of different food trucks all over the place. Um, we got mumbo gumbo here. There was like a Thai one right, right over here. Just all kinds of different. Taste of India. They have um, burritos. We got the noodle house. <laughs> Steak. Man, this is cool. Let's see if we can find something that sounds good and looks halfway safe. <laughs> Maybe this is crazy. All right, I went with the Italian wedding soup and the Portuguese rice bowl. Secret hard part. 
Big Bad Pat just flew in from Sac Town. Take the vitamins. Uh, he's here training with us. Well, in Sacramento, decided to make the trip up to watch me grapple tomorrow. We got way in soon. We're gonna go grab food. So weird before to say, but yeah, <laughs> we're gonna go grab dinner before weigh ins because I don't really have to make a wait, it's just more of a promotional thing. Um, it's just basically show up and grapple, but we gotta, we still gotta go weigh in. So, Is that a phone? we're gonna go grab some food. Pat, what do you want to go eat? Meat, perfect. All right, we opted for Italian food instead. Some pazzo. Let's wreck this place. We just got next door, and look what I found on the menu. Venison. You know what I'm getting. All right, we got everything together. Um, we got to stop, make a pit stop on the way down second floor. We got to do some interviews and stuff before we head to weigh in. So um, I think we're all good to go. Everything's all good to go. Pat's good to go. And uh, we're gonna go do these interviews and head to the weigh-in. So let's do it. It's going good, man. We flew in today. Uh, super easy flight. It's like an hour, 15 hour, 20 minutes. So um, it makes it fun to have a. How are you doing? Good. Finished up weigh-ins. We got the man AJ here. About to whoop some, whoop vlog, some ass tomorrow. Vlog, dude. <laughs> vlog life. <laughs> so sexy. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm too sexy for my coat. Too sexy for my coat. So sexy. <laughs> <laughs> morning, guys. Morning. It is about 9:30 in the morning. Day of competition. It's Sunday. Filling up my Mountain Ops bottle. We're gonna go grab some food. I got an awesome night of sleep, a lot of sleep. We got what, like 10 hours? Yeah. I am feeling great. <clears throat> Super excited. Oops. Super excited to compete today. I'm bouncing around like a little kid in here. Abby's getting annoyed, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go grab some food, walk around uh, Portlandia, and uh, see if we can find something 
halfway healthy, I'm probably gonna try to get some oatmeal, maybe some eggs, um, and some fruit. You got a key? I got a key. You yep. I got my wallet. Yep. We oh, yeah. And uh, then we have the rules meeting at noon. So we gotta uh, drive over there and do all that. Come back. Probably get a workout in because old Sticks, Chris Holdsworth, uh, will be here. I think he lands around noon. Um, he lands around noon? Yeah, he lands around noon. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna Uber over and meet us and then we'll get in. Uh, probably get a roll in or maybe get some, some kind of workout in, just get a sweat in, eat again, and then it's game time. So let's go find some food. Hungry. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> You're not recording. Maybe I am, maybe I ain't. <laughs> hey. What is it, cold outside or something? <laughs> you just wait and see. Your little bean head's gonna freeze. What did the temperature say? 38. 38? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I didn't really come prepared. I got my mountain up sweater and that's about it. Some sweat. Let's see what happens here. Abby just ordered a macchiato. <laughs> I don't even know how to hold it. What is that, a sample? <laughs> I thought they were kidding. <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> Alright, we went oatmeal. Got bananas, strawberries. I got an avocado kale shake. <laughs> Abby's tiny little <laughs> coffee. And she got some weird stuff called pumpkin porridge. It's good. Is it? Grab time. Jake's famous crawfish. This is definitely where we're coming for dinner tonight after the event. What do we got? I hope they have a big bucket of crawfish. <laughs> so upset right now. We just found out that Jake's famous crawfish doesn't have any crawfish right now. They're out of season. I'm bummed. I was looking forward to that. We're gonna have to find somewhere else to eat now. Mom? Dad? <laughs> What's up? All right, on to the next one. Just got to the Roseland, walked over here. My man Styx is here, looking fly. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, you're on that vlog. You're on that vlog life, bro. <laughs> What's up, dude? The vlog life. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know. So uh, the rules meeting, I, it's not mandatory. And then as far as the three rounds, it's he goes, I go, he goes, I go, he goes, I go. That's the three rounds. Okay. So. And then uh, if he gets a submission, you have to get the submission in a quicker fashion. Arm bar, couple different positions here. Grab the leg, one arm. All right, we just finished up at the, the rules meeting. Got some stuff answered, I mean, old sticks. Time to eat, walking the streets of Portlandia. About to go find some food. <laughs> All right, it's 4.30, we're about to head down to the lobby, meet Chris and uh, Pat, and head to the theater. I got all my stuff here, jump rope, got my mouth guard, uh, spandex, uh, Mountain Ops blaze shot, some Mountain Ops magnum, and I think I'm ready to go. Forgot to bring a backpack, that's the only thing, but um, I think we are set. I'm gonna do some last minute checks, make sure it's everything, and then uh, we're headed out. Let's go do this, it's game time. Straight in the back door. <laughs> it's game time. Alright, here we go. Here's our locker room. Warm it up, sticks. <laughs>
blue corner. He's a black belt who stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at an even 157 pounds. And his opponent, grappling out of the red corner. He stands five feet, six inches tall. He weighed in at an even 169 pounds. Trained by Team Alpha Male, he is a two-time NCAA Division I Wrestling All-American and three times has competed for the UFC World Championship. Coming to us tonight from Sacramento, California, ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, Chad Money!
Ladies and gentlemen, your winner due to getting a tap out in the least amount of time, Chad! I've seen you before, and you are, you seriously are a monkey in here, dude. Uh, I've seen something I haven't seen before, so it was fun. So listen, EBI rules, he got you first. A lot of people thought it was over, but maybe even him, I'm gonna have to ask him after that celebration. You have one more chance, though. Per the rule set, you get your shot and you caught it. Is that a position that you had worked on? Oh man, of course, but, and I've been a wrestler since I was five years old. <laughs> I knew, you know, I got submitted, I had to do something quicker, pushed myself and just went for everything and, and got it, so. Yeah, you did it! So, yeah. Chad, one last question. That was an incredible performance. And now that's your first time operating under the EBI system. You've been a grappler your whole life. Can we expect to see you back at a future event? Oh, man, of course. Uh, this is for uh, you know, I love competing. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the winner, Chad Ronnie Jeff, you never failed to deliver from the walkout to the performance to the creativity, but after the first submission, it did appear at least to me that perhaps you thought the contest was over. Did you understand that you had to come back and give him his position? Nope. <laughs> how, how hard is that to regroup and then celebration and realize you gotta go back into the contest? Yeah, so uh, they, you know, made an error on that one. <laughs> I should study the rules. But I gotta, I gotta give it up to the guy, you know, his first submission match ever was with me. I've been doing this for 16 years. Uh, he, you know, he brought it to me. I threw all my, my best moves in him. He defended him really well. I do have to say this one. I think that's a uh, rematch, rematch, quality match. Let's do it. Well guys, we did it. Success. That was a lot of fun. I was a little nervous there when Jeff snuck that in on the first uh, overtime, but uh, I knew I had to go for the gold right off the bat, so I blew the whistle and I threw that, that hand in there. You know, I'm used to fighting with the gloves on, so it's a lot harder to sneak that in, but no gloves, we're super sweaty, and it just went right in there, so I, I got it. <laughs> it was awesome, guys, thank you. What's up, guys? We just got back home from Portland. Pretty quick travel day, not too bad. It's like an hour and 20 minute uh, flight. I know this video is getting long, so I'll try to make this quick. Um, I just wanna say thank you guys for tuning in. That was an awesome, awesome experience. Um, first time doing that. So um, I love being able to vlog these things for you guys. Um, I love getting in there competing. So we'll continue to keep doing this. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. One thing I wanted to mention to you guys real quick, we just set up a promo code um, uh, for Mountain Ops. So if any of you guys want to try that Blaze, it's a pre-workout focus energy drink um, that I used right before my match and typically used before every uh, time I train. Use promo code CHAD, C-H-A-D. You guys get 20% off um, any of the Mountain Ops supplements actually. So I highly recommend it. If you guys have used it before, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in and we'll get the next video up soon. Peace.